and welcome to Sarah Whitman Thoughts. I am Sarah Whitman and we have another great interview lined up for you tonight. Um, I'm here with Noah Singer, a really awesome musician, and I'm super excited to get to know him and have you guys get to know him. So without further ado, let's introduce him. Noah, thanks so much for being here tonight. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. So congrats on Sunrise. That's so exciting. It must be really surreal. Uh, I guess, you know, producing your first music again after your debut album. How are you feeling right now? I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, I've been working on this for, for a few months and honestly for probably about a year now. And I'm just, I'm excited to get some more content out there after Journey because I know it's been a decent bit of time just because I've, I've been in school, but I'm, I've been able to finally finish up some stuff and get some stuff out there. And I'm just, I'm really excited to get it out. That's awesome. Well, I'm excited. Well, I have heard it, but I'm excited for everyone else to hear it. Um, speaking of the song, do you write your own music or is this a song that you heard and just automatically connected with it? No. So, I mean, when it comes to the, the lyrics, when it comes to the writing, I do all of the lyrical stuff. I do all the writing. Um, when it comes to the track itself, I usually collaborate with a producer. So I had somebody named J, J Grooves. Um, who's somebody that did four or five of my tracks on my last album too. And it's something where I kind of hear a bass beat and then I put it together. I, I put all the vocals, that kind of stuff in there. And then I send it over to my producer, Cam, um, uh, Cameron Dietz. And then he kind of just puts everything together and, and, and makes it happen. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I have a little recording studio in the corner of my closet of my apartment and that's kind of where I make everything. I have my little, keyboard and my plugins and all the all the fun stuff but yeah I'm just making it out of a little closet so it's a lot of fun no that's so cool and I mean I think with I mean all artists of all sizes um you know new artists artists who have been producing music for forever uh something that happened with pandemic is so many have switched to just doing everything at home uh which is I think so cool and probably a lot cheaper <laughs> oh yeah no no question yeah it's really cool that you get to do that. So as you said, it has been a little bit of time since you re released Journey, your debut album, uh, which came out in November. Uh, and that has done pretty well. I mean, you've had over 100,000 streams on iTunes, which is so great. So congrats on that. Thank you. Of course. Um, have you noticed a change in your artistry at all? Or like an evolution in how you make music, how you think about it uh, between, you know, creating your Journey uh, music and songs to now? Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's accurate for sure. I mean, I, you know, I, I really started this writing at the kind of the beginning of the pandemic, and I was always in music before that, so I've always been interested, but I've never really attacked songwriting and, and made music for myself. So, like, I think at the beginning, I was, I was kind of hesitant because I wasn't sure what I wanted to make my style. I didn't really know what I wanted to put out there, and I didn't really know what, what, what was my image, what, what I was going to come out and sound like. So... I think at the beginning it wasn't so much hesitancy, but I was just excited to get something out there to show kind of the multiple paths I may end up taking. And I feel like I took a much more in the moment writing approach when it came to Journey. So Journey, it's like uh, the first song I wrote on that album was Love on the Brain. And that was a song I wrote for my girlfriend. Um, but while I was in the middle of writing that song, I came up with the idea for Journey. So it's like, that was a very quick evolving process and I was able to get eight songs out in three or four months and really just like have great pr productivity and great work rate and just get a lot out and then came to Sunrise and I started working on Sunrise probably in January or December, January and it's taken me till now to really get it to where I wanted it to be because I think at this point it's I want to make sure everything is perfect with it when I get it out. And I know that with my schedule, I'm, I'm in law school. So my, my work schedule is a little tough and find times to be creative and come up with music is, is limited. But in that time, I still want to be able to get out the best stuff and not be rushing releases and doing any of that stuff. So I, I don't know. My process has certainly changed, but you know, I, I still kind of go through the same creative process and, and kind of getting to where I want to get with the music. That's really cool. And I was actually going to ask you about um, your degree and being in law school. Is, is that something you always wanted to do? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I've, I've wanted to be a lawyer since I was like 10. 
Um, but for the most part, I want to be a judge in the end of it. So that's, that's kind of where I'm going with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've always been very intrigued by the law. Like I was, I was in sports when I was younger. So I was always interested in sports law, that kind of nonsense. Um, and then my freshman year of undergrad, I went to school in China, NYU Shanghai, and I was there for international law. So like, you know, everything that I've been doing up to where I'm at now has been tailored towards that. I was a poli-sci major in college and it's just, I've always been very interested in, in, in law and in being involved in the legal system and trying to improve it um, <laughs> and try to improve it. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I, I'm excited to be a part of that. And that's something I've always really wanted to do. And then music has always been a passion and something I've always wanted to continue doing, even if it wasn't my absolute sole focus in life. Yeah, see, I figured you're going to say you want to do something with like music law, but uh, that's really cool. I mean, you do have a lot of different interests. Like you said, you're an athlete too. I saw you playing golf on your Instagram, obviously, <laughs> on you a little bit. And are you like an assistant coach or something for football at Tulane or something? I, so I used to be. I mean, I played football at Tulane for a year, and then I ended up becoming a student assistant for two years, um, helping with special teams and offensive line, doing that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I've always been into sports. Like, I was a big football kid in high school and in college, but I was also in musical theater and did all that fun stuff. So, definitely on two ends of the spectrum there, and it's it's good that I can I can do both. But yeah, I mean, I'm learning a little bit about music law, like copyright, entertainment law, that kind of stuff. But I'm interested in like estate planning. <laughs> so we will we will see where I end up when it comes to that. Yeah, still got a couple of years. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, especially you said you wanted to do law for so long and here you are doing it. So kudos to you. That's, that's really great. Thank you. Of course. Uh, and you did say music has always been a passion and uh, you want to, you know, continue making it. Is that, do you think that will kind of just be a hobby for you for a while or would you ever like pursue it really seriously? Or do you think that's more of a secondary to your law? Interest. You know, I mean, I, I've always joked around with, with my dad and with my family. It's like, if something happened where, where I happened to, to get a really big song, something blew up and like started getting more consistent streaming numbers, that kind of stuff where I was comfortable kind of taking a chance and pursuing music full, full time, I would love to, you know, I mean, I love music. I love just everything that has to go with just being a creative and be able to write music all day and like do that kind of stuff instead of reading thousand page textbooks, but you know, law is very, it's also something that's near and dear to me. It's something I've always wanted to do. And along with music, I mean, I know music is a one in a million people get their chance. And, you know, as much as I'd love to be the one in a million, you gotta, you gotta have a realistic plan as well. And, you know, I think, I think law is that, but I would love to make it in music. I, I, I think anybody that makes music would be crazy to say they don't want to make it in music, but I really, I did this for, for me to say I could do this and to get it out for people to listen to. So, I mean, that's really, I've accomplished what I set out to do and I'm just going to keep making more music and enjoying it. No, and that's something to be extremely proud of. And it would be cool though, uh, you know, if you made it, if you could have a feature like, yeah, this is what I was going to do before. It became oh, absolutely. <laughs> I can manage my own contracts and do all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, that happens with so many stars though. I mean, I think Ed Sheeran said he'd probably be working at a supermarket. I think Jen Aniston, said she would open up a wellness center so you never know it's a one in yeah. a million chance but there's a couple one in a, mil in a millions you know so <laughs> of course yeah so back to your music uh you have sunrise is this a foreshadowing of a new album maybe or i know you said you were working on sunrise for a while so i don't know if this is just the a single for now or do you have more in the works it is a single for now um, you know, I do have a couple other songs that are either here or on the way um, that that will be released shortly. But I think right now it's more of the single route because, you know, with, with the album, I had six months of no school where I could just kind of, I, I, I had four or six months, just no school, pandemic, and I just got to sat down, like sat down. I got to sit down and create music every day. Um, and, and that was a great time for me to really get into that and create that music and, and really immerse myself in that, in that situation. Right now, I don't have that time. And I'm trying to do it. You know, I mean, I've, I finished up Journey in the middle of my first semester. And I think that was a mistake. I, th I think I need to focus a little more. Um, but I mean, I, I did well. I did well. But 
you know, it, it's difficult to balance that amount of school and it, you know, law school is kind of a job. So it's, it's, it's a job and then also managing creating a big album, but I have a few more songs on the way. I mean, I've actually have a, after this, I'll do a little teaser. I have a, um, I have a country song coming, which will be interesting. And that, you, that's, that's a big thing with my music. You know, I want to be able to do whatever genre I want to do on whatever day and come out with it and see if people enjoy that. And they do, I'll make more of it. You know, it's, it's really, I just, I love all kinds of music and I don't want to ever limit myself to one of them. So you can try all of them. Yeah, no, hey, if you can do it all, which you clearly can, you might as well throw stuff out there, see what sticks, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Try it all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now for anyone in your position who is a student and also an aspiring musician, do you have any advice for people who are juggling all as you are? Yeah, I mean, just just find the time to to be creative and have your and have your working time because you you have your school which you need to focus on and all that stuff. But a lot of people are in school that that do music for music, so it's really you just gotta find your time to have your own creative space. I mean, in everything you do, you have your own creative process. So you just need to make sure you have a couple hours a day to make sure you're doing what you love to do and and trying to make music as you can. You know, I mean, I probably study for eight to 10 hours a day, if not more, but I play guitar for an hour, two hours a day, just so I can have some kind of creative outlet and, and kind of just have some release. And I think that's really important for artists in school or is just to really make sure you continue doing your stuff and make sure the brain is is still there and making sure that you're happy with your music. And and I don't know, yeah, just just really keep at it while you're in school. Don't let it really slack, but make make sure you're, Make sure you're not falling behind in school. <laughs> Very inspirational. Also, I'm not sure if you uh, sleep after hearing that, but whatever. Oh, no, no I, I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm definitely an insomniac. I, I sleep about three days a week. So it, it gives me some time to, to catch up on some stuff. But yeah, no, I don't sleep very often, but I enjoy it. You know, I'm here, I'm here doing it. I'll, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Yeah, that's what I say. I love that. <laughs> well, that's everything I have for you. So. Thank you so much for being here. It was a pleasure talking to you. And I can't wait to hear your new stuff and all the various genres you plan on hitting. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Of course.